Hey there, welcome back to episode 3 of my Minecraft series, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. What I'm going to plan on doing here is I am going heavy mining today, and what I'm planning on doing, uh, we're going to take a couple things with us. We're going to take the forge with us, we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to take, is there anything I need here? I'm going to take my osmium ingots with me. Um, that's my overworld linking book, so I don't need that. Um, what do I have in here? Um, so this is my transfer notebook, so we're going to put our osmium in here, we're going to put our tool forge in here, we're going to take uh, a few iron ingots, because we're going to need that to repair our hammer. Um, we got a bucket of water, which we're good with. Um, I'm going to ditch the bucket of lava into our forge, which we should have enough room for now. We do. Perfect. And we're going to take the extra bucket with us, just in case. Um, I was hoping to have a bigger backpack than this, but um, we don't, so that'll be okay. Um, now, I don't think we really need anything else. Um, we're going to need some coal for torches. So we got 16, so we just need 12 coal for a full stack. We're going to leave the cobblestone here because we don't need that right away. We'll be getting plenty when we're down there. Uh, we're going to put our obsidian pickaxe in here for now. Um, let's make ourselves those torches. Now we're going to have to get some wood before we go. But um, So my goal today is, once I get these set up, is I am going to be going down. Is it almost nighttime already? Or am I just going crazy here? Ah, Yeah, it's nighttime. So we're going to sleep first before we go down. Um, but what our goal today is going to be is getting a ton of minerals um, and other stuff, whatever we can find down below, um, stone. And then what I'm going to do uh, when I come back up is I am going to build a, um, oh, is this connected to this house? It's not. Okay, it's jungle wood. Um, I am going to build a uh, mining base. So. When we come back after my mining excursion, let me just sleep here first really quick. We'll head over and I'll show you where I'm going to do that. And then when I come back after that, um, what I'll do is I'll teleport up from below and I'll have moved everything over to our new mining base. I'm not going to leave everything in that house there because uh, I want it close to where my mining base is. So let's get some more wood here on the way over. We're going to need that for torches, definitely when we're underground. And jungle wood we don't really want. We just want one type of wood, so we're not carrying around too many pieces of wood with us. Save a little bit of space, but we are going to want a fair bit of wood because we're going to have a lot of torches when we're down there. Okay, this should be good enough. Alright, so when we come back up, I'm going to have transferred this area, or trans uh, transformed this area right here, into a um, mining base. And I'll have decorated this all up so it looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's uh, what we're going to do, and I will see you shortly. Hey everybody, welcome back. We've just finished doing a whole bunch of mining, and we just... But like I said, we were going to build a mining base, so that's what I did. Um, it's a little bit bigger than, uh, you know, what I originally thought I was going to build, but, you know, it is a good size. It has everything in here that we're going to need. Um, so, got some wood growing here. We moved our smeltery over, so we have that installed here. Um, we've got a bunch of furnaces that we need, and inside here we set up our... Um, Mistcraft return to here now, so when we leave um, by uh, this book, we moved the book over from the other other uh, building that we were in. So now we have all our material here, so we, whenever we come back from the transfer world, uh, we'll come back to this location here. Um, got our bed in here. We picked up a whole bunch of uh, different types of stone, which is why the building is made out of a variety of different stone blocks and stuff. Uh, we've got a little attic up here, which I don't really have anything in right now, but got enough storage here, so when we do uh, to go back down and do some more mining. We've got plenty of storage and stuff. So just a little upstairs attic. And then, um, yeah, and then we picked up a whole bunch of material from down below. So lots of coal, 
you know, copper, redstone. We did find lots of diamonds, which was great. Um, a bunch of other things, uh, Minisio essence, things like that. So tons of iron. We did find some gold, which is great. Um, tons of redstone, as you can see. So we're going to leave that here. We were, we decided last time that we're going to take a wander around the world a little bit. And we're going to see, let's pick up our bed and take that with us. We're going to see where we can build a few more bases. Actually, it looks like it's becoming night. So maybe I'll just wait till the morning before we go. But uh, yeah, we're going to go and see where we can build a few more bases. We have a couple things we uh, that's installed here that we want to kind of build unique kind of indi individualized bases for. Um, one of them is the Lord of the Rings mod. So we want to kind of build a nice tower to build our gateway for the Lord of the Rings mod in. So that's one place. Um, we want to find a place where we can build a nether portal. Um, nice kind of spooky area, I think, for the nether portal. Um, I want to find a place that's kind of garden-like for um, uh, the Twilight Forest um, portal. Um, and then there's a few others that are installed in the game that I think we're also going to build stuff for. When we do um, um, Galactic Craft, I want to find a nice area that we can set up our, uh, our launching platform and stuff at. So we'll be finding a place for that as well. Let's have a quick look at the map here. Um, I think what we're going to try and do um, first is we may try as we go to hit up these meteor crash sites because we've got um, in our backpack now we've got a um, obsidian pickaxe so we can easily dig our way in there. Now I could have made a diamond one but right now I'm just going to stick with the obsidian. Um, our looting pickaxe is you know significantly damaged here and stuff but we've got unlinked books and a linked book to the transfer world so wherever we end up um, we can easily just teleport back here and grab stuff if we need to so that doesn't really matter where how like how far we go from here or whatever so I think probably we're just gonna head like northeast I think um, just to see what's up over here uh, and I'm not looking for anything in particular to start with. Just kind of looking around. I like I like exploring the world and seeing what's in it. Um, sometimes you get lucky. That looks like there's a big crevice down there. There is. Um, sometimes you get lucky and find um, things like uh, nether quartz and stuff like that um, just by wandering around. It's kind of a neat little building over there. I, I'm not going to bother picking up any um, like. Well, actually, aluminum I'll pick up because um, it's harder to find below ground, and we need lots of aluminum for when we do uh, um, galactic craft. Um, but we're going to uh, look for individual buildings and stuff that we might be able to find stuff in. Um, have a quick look around. I mean, the one thing I do love about Minecraft is the uh, procedurally generated worlds. It goes on forever. Um, the fact that the gen, the generation, the world generation just uh, can come up with some really crazy looking places. Um, I kind of really enjoy that. Alright, let's just keep going this way. Uh, so here's a meteor crash site over here. Looks like it's a relatively small one, or is it a big one? Yeah, it's a larger one. It's going to take a little while to dig our way in there. Um, so I think I'll hold off on that for now. Um, and because we can always come back here at another point. The other thing we're going to need is a lot more leather because we don't have any leather left. And we need this to make linking books and stuff with. Plus we're looking to um, eventually make a big backpack. Um, so we're going to need, you know, at least 16 leather for the big backpack and then whatever we, uh, what else we can get for books and stuff. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm jumping when I'm hitting the cows is that it's like an automatic crit critical hit, so it can kill them in one shot. So rather than, um, you know, using up a lot of durability on my sword, I can, uh, you know, um, minimize that durability damage and have my sword last for longer. So that's kind of good. So uh, the byproduct of this is um, we're going to have steak for like a long time to eat, which means we're going to have good saturation and stuff. So that's always handy. So let's have a look at the map here in a second. Getting close here. 
13, not bad. Let's have a look at the map. So it looks like up here, desert. So let's continue east. Oh, it looks like there's a graveyard down here too, which we missed. But we'll leave that. Um, we're just going to head east and see what else we can encounter while we're out here. Hoping for more cows. But um, once we find a, a half decent place, I mean, I, c I could kill the horses too, but my kids actually hate the sound of the horses dying, so I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't generally kill them. So um, yeah, we'll just keep going this way. Um, so preferably for the Lord of the Rings mod, when I want to build a tower, um, I want to find, you know, hopefully a place that's got some uh, white stone nearby. I want to build kind of like a white stoned kind of carved tower, sort of in the Gondorian style. Um, so I think that'll be kind of cool. Oh, nice. Gold ore. I'm going to need lots of gold um, to build machines and stuff later on, so we're going to have to grab as much of this as we can whenever we find it. It's the one thing I find, like, after we start finding materials, it's the one thing that um, we always need more of is gold. So I think what I'm going to try and do is when we get um, magical crops up and running, we're going to, um, that's the one thing we're going to work towards is getting uh, gold crops going. So I'm still getting those lag spikes. I can't figure out why that's happening. Um... But uh, it's sort of certainly minimized from what it used to be. I think it's just a general Minecraft thing. I'm not sure. So yeah, so um, the Lord of the Rings tower, we're going to have kind of like sort of white blocks, whether it's um, marble or whatever. I don't know. But it's going to be a really light colored tower. Um, we might dye some stone. If I can get a dyeing machine up and running, we might just dye some stone white color and uh, build a white tower with different different kinds of blocks. Um, chances are we're going to end up using marble, so um, there's that. And then for the nether portal, we want to try and find um, some dark granite, like black sort of stone uh, area. Just kind of make a uh, sort of dark and dreary kind of place for the nether portal. Um, and once again, like we don't really need a lot there. We just need a place for the portal to, uh, to be, because we can just um, use our miscraft books to head over there and then head back whenever we... Uh, we feel like going back, and I'm going to go down and grab this. Uh, I don't think. I'm trying to remember now if we have um, which material we have here. Of um, I surely shouldn't be mining this iron, but I'm doing it right now. I'm trying to think of which um, shards we have for uh, mistcraft. Some more iron stuff. I'm just going to leave it. Try to stay on target here. You can certainly. I know the one thing I love about Minecraft is it can certainly get you off track really quickly if you're not uh, focused on what you need to do. Because there's just so much in the world. And that looks like a dungeon. And it certainly is. Nice. So it looks like there's a house here. Set up a little base. And we can use this house as a raiding position to actually go and do some uh, raiding in that dungeon. Um, yeah, it's just one of those typical crappy houses. But we're not going to go there now, only because we're not fully equipped to go down there and survive, since I am not the best player in the world. If I was to make an attempt at going down there, I would probably be eaten for breakfast. Uh, with the numbers of spawners and stuff down there. So it's one of those things where it's a slow progression. There's some half-decent loot in there, or there can be. Um, let's have a look at the map again. So we need to head south now. So we know where this is up in the corner here. It's easy enough to find. Um, there's another graveyard over here, so maybe we head that way. It's hoping to find more buildings, but, you know, it's always difficult finding good stuff. <coughs> Even if we find villagers, like in my backpack, I brought a bunch of stuff with me here. I've, you know, got emeralds, a gold coin, um, just some stuff that I can, if I find a village, I can trade with some villagers. Still want to get a whole set of diamond armor. I mean, I've got 17 diamonds. There's another uh, 
graveyard right there. Let's go this way. Um, I've got an, I know I've got 17 diamonds right now, and I could start making a set of diamond armor, but I need a few of them. I definitely need one to make a nuclear reactor with, um, and then I'll need a few other diamonds to do get the ME system up and running. So I'm just going to save those for now, and if I can purchase diamonds off villagers, um, like diamond armor and stuff off villagers, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said last episode, if you're shrewd enough and you're a good enough trader, you can get a full set of diamond armor from villagers. So I'm starting to get a few lag spikes here. I'm wondering if it's just because the world gen, because of the uh, underground biomes of the different types of stone, I think it's uh, causing a little bit of lag. All right, let's see what's in here. We'll grab that. Well, we don't need the redstone really. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, the bones will take, but we'll leave the rest. Let's just leave this redstone torch in here so it doesn't despawn. Don't need that. We'll leave the redstone. We don't really need it. So this, I mean, this is what? This is soapstone. So we probably won't build our uh, our uh, Lord of the Rings tower out of this because this stuff... Uh, oh, it does make cobblestone. Hmm. Well, that's a possibility. So sun's going down. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Sometimes there's little, uh, on the tops of hills here, there's little, um, um, what's it called, uh, Thomcraft, um, uh, not temples, but um, what do you want to call them, standing stones that have a chest on them that you can get some good stuff out of. So a few more cows, let's grab these guys. Oh. I think maybe when we hit up that dungeon, we'll do some uh, necromancy stuff and make a, uh, a couple of uh, random um, automatons to bring down with us. So we got 20 leather. That's pretty good. All right, let's just make a place here. Let's have some steak for dinner. Put our bed down here. Sleep for the night. When we come back in the morning here, we'll have a quick look at the map. So, there's a graveyard over there. I think we're going to he keep heading south, though, just to keep things moving. Yeah, trying to avoid picking that up, but didn't seem to work. So, is that a meteor crash? Did I, what did I just do? Oh, for crying out loud. See, got to keep my eyes on what I'm doing. And we'll just build this up here. Oh, come on. Really? Really? So that was a huge fail. That's why I say you kind of kind of keep your eyes on where you're going. I was uh, going to press the map key and I wasn't really watching what I was doing there. So that is a, uh, but it's a large one, so we're not going to go in there either. It'll take too long to dig our way in. But since we're close to the uh, thing over here, we're going to head over. Actually, what I might do, maybe I will attempt, I'll just maybe just go off camera and dig my way in. We need to pick up four um, presses for um, uh advanced engineering so we can build our uh, ME system. Ooh, nine gold. And we'll take the paper. So, uh, maybe what I'll do is I will go quickly now and go in there and... Well, actually, you know what? My uh, pickaxe doesn't allow for a lot of mining because I think it's got durability of like 44 or something like that or 65 or something like that. It's really low, so I'll leave this for now until I have a better one. So there's one of those Thomcraft nodes, and there is an invisible guy that I can't actually see sucking power from it right now. You can see the question mark on the mini-map there. Uh, and that guy is dangerous, so we will stay away from that. Like I said, once we have better gear, I won't, not, I won't be afraid. Once we have our uh, goggles of revealing that we need from Thomcraft, we'll be able to see the guy just fine, and we'll be able to attack him. They mostly use missile attacks. They have a relatively high rate, high rate of attack, so 
they can be quite dangerous if you know you're not really uh, good at fighting them which I'm not all right let's have a quick look at the map again once we get up over here and anything else interesting down here well not really down here it's like a sun temple thing um, graveyard over there doesn't look, like, doesn't look like we're getting too lucky for kind of good places to go I noticed the uh, world gen is a lot drier areas right now we need to f get lucky and get a forest or something so that we can find some better areas here I was thinking if we could find a tropical area that would be kind of good for um, our galactic craft um, we can use it to build a launch platform like like a Cape Canaveral kind of thing um, and maybe build a launch platform out in the water and have um, you know a tower and you know computer area and stuff um, back on the mainland now we don't technically need computers and stuff but it would kind of look cool if we did if we had them there so we'll probably build all that um, but once again it's going to require a lot of resources and I cannot pass up the gold just three huh all right well three is better than nothing all right so once again not coming up with anything good here so what I might do is I think I'm gonna think it's gonna require me doing a lot of running here um, to try and find biomes that are going to be worthwhile. There's another large meteor site. A lot of meteor, um, large meteor sites here, so I think we shouldn't have too much of a problem finding all of the AE, AE stuff that we need here. Applied energistics. Um, get these lag spikes too. Um, let's have a quick look, see if there's anything interesting, and if not, then, oh, there's a village over here. Let's head over to the village. Sure, why not? And we'll see what's there. Maybe we can do some trading with the villagers. Don't know with a village that small if we'll get anything good, but you never know. It's always worth hitting up the villagers. Like I said, you never know who's going to have like diamond gear or whatever, right? Um, even if you if you find a one of the Thomcraft guys in a village, um, is this? Oh, there it is over there. If you find a Thomcraft guy in a village, um, it's good because they uh, um, will sometimes have like rings of protection and stuff. And I can't get in that way. Which is really, really handy. Sometimes you can get them for like six or seven emeralds or something like that. So having a ring of protection plus one just gives you an extra little boost. That was a major lag spike. Okay, so there is a um, node in or a um, building in here which w might give us some more uh, books for our enchantment table here. Uh, nope, no books in there. Sometimes you get lucky and there's a uh, um, chest in there with a bunch of books in it. So whenever you see those brick building, building, brick buildings, it's always a good idea to go into them and see if they got a chest. Sometimes you can pick up the, like a half a dozen different scrolls, which is pretty good. Okay, we need the aluminum, so the aluminium. That's a death trap for a villager, I would imagine. There's a few villagers here, not too many, but there's a few. You got Sirtis Quartz Dust, which is really not really that great. You want stuff. You have diamond boots for four, for seven, seven emeralds. We've only got five. You've got six. Can we actually get in here? Looks like they got it all blocked off here. Oh, Smithy. Let's have a look at anything good in here. What do you got to trade here? You want coal, which I don't have. Iron leggings, tin ingots will take, vibrant alloy, perfect. Um, we got bronze leggings, so we don't need those. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we don't need that. Wow, that's a huge lag spike. It is pretty much, I guess, world gem that's giving us the issue here. 
Um, I'm not really sure if this has generated like this or if it's just a map that's showing me this. But up on this hill, here's two of the uh, Thomcraft things we're going to go check out. So let's just go right there and do that. Um, and I think that's what we'll do is once we check these out, see what they've got in them, we're going to call it for the evening and I'll continue to explore in the meantime. And hopefully, um, by the time I come back for next episode, which I'm not sure when that will be, but the next episode um, we'll have a place to start building something. Not sure what that's going to be yet, but um, we obviously can't build the uh, um, spacecraft stuff yet, or the galactic craft stuff yet, because we don't we don't have the machinery and stuff to build all the material that we need for that. And holy crap, this has got a lot of stuff in it. Nice. Common treasure, thomium ingots, void touched. We'll take that. We did get our nether quartz. Excellent. So we don't have to go to uh, take the conduit probe. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Let's head over here. Um, just so that we don't have to uh, go to the nether right away to get nether quartz. Because we're going to need that to start our um, applied energistics. The other thing we have to find is um, charged certus quartz. Uh, we didn't find any when we were mining. I was hoping we would, but we didn't find any when we were down there. So that's the other thing we're going to really have to look for. And let's see what's in here. Oh, a whole bunch more stuff. Okay, we got that, 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 that. We want all this stuff here pretty much. So let's uh, start depositing stuff in our backpack here. Going to throw all those in. This I can read. Let's put those in. We're going to open these treasures before we uh, finish up for today. Um, we can put the extra bed in there. Uh, gold ingots, the conduit probe can probably go in there. What else do we have in there? Safari net, cool. Don't really need that. Well, we'll take the miscraft page even though we can't really use it. Figures we've already got wrath. Steadfast drone, we'll take that. And we'll leave, I think. Oh, we're going to take the ender though. How good is this sword? Long, 1.25 melee reach. That's pretty good. But this is plus 9 damage, so. We'll hang on to the ender just because if we find um, a mob that we can take the head off of, we'll. Uh, for instance, if we find an Enderman, we'll uh, want to try and get his head. Because we're going to need Enderman heads for stuff. So let's crack these open and see what we get. They're just common treasures, so not a lot, probably. We got an Ender Pearl, piece of gold, 17 gold coins. So, yeah, not bad. It could have been a lot worse. Put these in the backpack, leave the Ender Pearl here. Actually, we'll switch these around, put the Ender Pearl in, and keep the uh, Ender out. Alright, cool. So that, I think, will be it for now. Um, oh. That's kind of cool, World Gen. Check that out. That's kind of cool. And that looks like a meteor crash down there, and it is. So let's have a look at the map real quick here. Interesting. So we got some um, granite here. Um, that's over there. That's kind of really cool for a tower, though. I wonder if we should make our Lord of the Rings uh, thing at the top of there. Or maybe that over where the water is over there. Build a tower up the side of there. Have it coming right out of the side of that hill. The great thing about it is we don't need stairs up there because, like, we'll have our book to teleport up and down. So much easier teleporting. It's not really teleporting, but I mean it's like going to one dimension and coming back. So we don't actually have to walk up and down there. But maybe that's what we'll do, is we'll build it up here. Um, so we did, you know, the wandering was uh, kind of fruitful. At least we found a place we can build some, or build a tower. So let's see here. And there's a slime island up there, cool. So we can go up to the slime island. It's relatively close to there, so... I don't know, maybe we, um, can always build a tower on here too, right? And build it right to the Slime Island. That might be a project. Right? This is a cave up here? It looks like it is. Yeah, not much of a cave, but it's a nice little place to start and have some place to do some stuff in while we're building the rest of our tower here. We could make this a black tower too. If we can get enough granite, right? Black granite. 
we can make a nice, like, uh, really bad looking tower here. Evil looking tower. Maybe we'll do this as our, um, well, I don't know. I was thinking maybe we just do this as our, uh, um, nether portal. We could build, like, evil horns on the top of this build, on top of the, um, cliff here. Just gonna grab this coal real quick. So blue schist cobblestone. Let's get up to the top here and see how high up this goes. Ah, it's not bad. I don't think we'll build a our nether portal here, but we might build something up here. Maybe just access to the slime island. So we can get slimes whenever we need them. But that looks kind of cool over there. Let's go over there and check a little bit more. Can I jump into the water from here? I really want to, but... <sighs> looks a little far to actually do that. I've uh, made a few mistakes a couple times in the past. Thinking I can make down there and... Uh, misjudged by one or two blocks and then your gear ends up split all over the damn place. Okay, let's go uh, down this way. Alright, it's a little safer. Uh, we don't really need blue slime right now, but let's go around this way. What we do need though is more string, which this will provide us. So we're gonna need 56 string for a big backpack which is really a lot of string. Um, is it becoming night already? It sure as heck is. No, it's not. Middle of the day. So what we'll need to do if we're going to make this our home over here, or build a tower over here, is we're going to need to um, light up everything below. Well, I guess if we get to the top, we won't really need to do that. But we're going to need a lot of material um, for up on top. I don't really want to nerd pull my way up there either. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Um, and that looks like, oh, I don't know. What kind of biomes are over here? Oh no, that's just all the, uh, what do you call it? Like lush, de lush, lush desert biome or something like that. All right, let's get our sword out to make sure. This actually kind of looks cool here. A lot of little crevices and holes and stuff. Getting up there is going to be like really difficult though, without having to dig blocks. That is. Yeah, we're going to need to nerd pull up. There's no other way to get up there. Not easily, anyway. Um, let's start working my way up, see how far I can get here. Alright, it's gravel. See how high I can go without having to start putting dirt blocks down. I got a feeling I'm going to need to put dirt blocks down once we get up really high, though. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, look, no, nah, I think we probably will. We're getting up there, but still, it's like we've got a long way to go. Long way to go. Alright, so let's do... We've got barren dirt, which we can use. Um, and this will put us right to the top, but I don't want to make it look goofy, so... Let's go here, here, um, hmm. looks like we got some more, uh, stuff up here, so we can grab these guys, entropy shards, cool, 22, 22 dirt, how high do we think I can get us? in the clouds now. And we got stuff over our heads here.
We will be above the clouds soon. Keep digging our way up. Let's hope we don't uh, dig our way into gravel. And I wonder if we're going to have enough. We're damn close though. That looks like dirt up there. And then we'll put uh, these guys. It is dirt. Nice. And we're at the top. Nice. Well, hopefully we're at the top. Let's do this. Just cover this with uh, dirt. Oh, nope, we're not. But at least that's white up there. I mean, we can start carving it out of that. Is that soapstone? Looks like it's soapstone. We can start carving our building out of this. Yeah, it's soapstone. So let's just keep going up. I think what we'll do is we'll get close to the top here. Um, let's go this way. Take this block out of here. Getting pretty close. Should we go right up to the top? Let's do it. I think we're going to have to... Well, maybe we shouldn't go all the way to the top. Um, I think what we'll do... If we're going to carve this out of soapstone and have it this high up, maybe we want to just um, have like a house down here or something that we can teleport to, and then we'll use our stairs to go up to the... Uh, portal up there because that'll be kind of cool or we can build our house into the wall over here and have like a brick brick kind of house here maybe we do that instead so let's just lay this dirt down and then we're going to dig our way in here for now what we'll do is we'll just make a uh, quick entrance to, the, to a relatively um, insignificant little house for now. And I think what we'll do is we'll dig it right in mm, yeah, maybe right here. And then what we'll do is we'll put our book down for now. And then we can start um, teleporting back to our old place. We'll make it two in. And then we can start cooking up all our stone that we're going to need to make um, bricks and whatever we're going to use to build this place with. So let's go back to more. I'm going to do a 5x5 five five here. I kind of like 5x5s. Five I know Direwolf likes 9x9s, likes, uh, nine nine, but 5x5s five five for me are good. Alright, one more over here. Alright, so we're prepped now to go up and uh, start building up here. So we're going to do a couple things. Uh, we need five of these guys and we need to make a crafting table or crafting station which we will put right here and then a couple of chests so we can just deposit stuff here for now. Um, when we find material we can just leave it here. Not have to be carrying it around with us wherever we go when we're here. Uh, Dactite um, nice to be able to cook up some dactate. So let's make a couple of furnaces. Um, we need to make, let's go with one, two, three, four. First of all, we're going to make a door, which we will put here. Cool. And then we've got 24 torches, so we can go one, two, three, and outside we'll put one above the door. Cool and then we're going to dig into the wall to put our furnaces which I think we're going to put um, maybe right here save a little bit of space that way. Now we need to pull out our coal 23 so we're going to just need 8 for here and 1 for there so let's split this actually and do this Cook that up so we have some building material. Um, let's leave the coal in here. And yeah, I think we'll enter for today. Um, so we've got 
uh, location now to build our Lord of the Rings tower. Um, and once we get that done, actually, let's just quickly do this. Make a couple of these. So this is going to be our return home. And this is what I mean about how much I love this craft. So uh, we will take out the transfer book and one of these guys. We're going to take the material back to the other place that I know we can store there. Uh, let's just take it all. Why not? We don't need to leave anything here, I, th I don't think. Um, and then we're going to put our hardy linking book right here. And we are going to do... Um, now you don't need to do this. I just like doing it, differentiating the uh, the um, block that we come back on, just so you know where you're returning all the time. That way you can shift it or change it or do whatever you want with it. Uh, and then we're going to go to our transfer world real quick. Excellent. And there's our book home. So what we do now is we put this guy here and we put our book home on there and we can do uh, we need some sticks here so let's do this and this make a few signs so we're gonna put come on pick that up damn it there we go uh, we're gonna put I think we well, that's plenty of light right here this is going to be um, mining base. So that's our mining base done. And then here will be Lord of the Rings Tower. Cool. So now we know where these places link to because once we get tons of linking books in here, we're definitely going to need to have them all labeled so we know where we're going. And we are back here. So that was that for today. That was pretty easy and pretty quick. Um, so you can see what I mean about, you know, building the Mistcraft books. It's got such a huge advantage to being able to travel through the world um, and being able to move around and get things done. Uh, let's see here, we put our, yeah, these guys go in here. Um, so now we have shards of all kinds. We got all, all six shards, so that's good. That can go in here. Uh, what else do we have? We have equipment that we need to, to dump. So let's pull this stuff out. Actually, we can leave the bed in there for now. Uh, so in here, we need to put all of these guys. So we have them organized, and in here goes this, and in here, looks like we've been putting equipment in here too, so I'll just drop these guys in here. Ender Pearl can go in there. The safari net we want to hang out, we want to hang on to. I'm going to put this guy in here. We're going to keep the safari net and the string on us, because if we get enough string to make a big backpack while we're out, we're going to do that. So let's grab... Um, we're gonna keep 16 leather on us at all times. So if we do get the chance to make, like if we get 56 string in total, we'll have the chance to make a big backpack. So we'll go ahead and do that. Cool. So, but I think for now, that's where we're gonna end it. Um, next time, um, I'm gonna do some mining between episodes, trying to pick up some marble, uh, whatever else we can get building materials. And we'll start building our tower next episode for Lord of the Rings, since that was the one place that we found first. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, hopefully when I'm mining, I will find some um, charged nether quartz, or sorry, charged certus quartz, because um, we need that redstone and nether quartz to be able to make um, flux crystals, which we need to make our uh, ME system, which is going to just refine all our storage. It'll be so, so good once we get that done. So yeah, so hopefully we get that done. And then, yeah, that, that'll be it. Uh, I think what we'll do when we come back first time uh, next time is I'm going to get, so i got some obsidian in here, I'm going to get um, better tools going. So when we come across those um, uh, meteors, the crash meteors, we'll be able to dig in really fast. Uh, I'm going to get a alumite hammer built because I do have some obsidian 
Uh, where is it? It's over here, I think. Yeah, I got 16 obsidian. I'll get more between episodes. And when we come back, um, I'll have... I'll make some um, alamite, and we'll make ourselves an alamite hammer. We can speed it up with redstone um, and either give it fortune using lapis or um, using an emerald. We can, we can give it... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, not fortune, but um, oh shoot! I didn't mean to do that. Darn it! Um, there we go. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll do that next episode. Until then, this is uh, Average Dad signing off, and I'll see you next time.